Hey, what's that, man? What, you mean this? That's just my class schedule. And I'm going to share it out with my students. So they could go ahead and click on their schedule uh, and then go ahead and use the frequently visited sites that they go on. So for example, if they want to see um, when they have classes with me, they can go check it out, go back home. They could go ahead and check out the syllabus, okay? That links straight to the syllabus here. And you can see, hey, they can just scroll through this, see what's going on, and then just go back. They could even go ahead and email me straight to, to my email inbox, okay? And write me a message. And then go back to the app. And you know what? They can even go ahead and join me on a Google Meet. So let's wait for this to load up. And we are straight on a Google Meet. So if you think that's awesome and you want to get a hold of this app, check it out. There's a link in the, in the description box below. You can just go ahead and copy it to your own Google Drive and then edit all of the uh, links for yourself, okay? So I'm going to show you how this is done. So I've just gone ahead um, to my drive and I've opened up a new Google um, slide, Google Slides, and then I've just added these pages, yeah, different slides. Now, why does my uh, presentation look like this? Maybe you don't want it to look like this, you want it to look like a traditional landscape app, okay? Very simple. Just go to Files over here, okay, and then go to Page Setup. And then under Page Setup, you can change this however you like. Now, I've gone with a 10 by 16 inches uh, template. Okay, which basically makes it look like a 16 by 9. It fits the frame, it fits the frame of the phone. Okay, so I'm really stretching out here. It fits the frame of the phone like that. Uh, of course, if I had it in a different orientation, uh, it may not fit the phone. So I'm going to stick with the 10 by 16. You can change this and it will change the, the whole presentation. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. So if you're opening up a new one, you're creating this yourself, then you can go ahead and go to files page setup and change that. Now, since that that's done, what else did I do? Well, I, I got the background myself, okay? All you need to do is go to slide and then go to change background. Now, the reason you want to go through to slide and change background is so that it's non-editable. You can't change it, okay? So go to change background here, okay? Uh, and then you can either choose a color, okay? Go with the color or a gradient. Uh, you could choose a background. Uh, from here, you can upload any one of the backgrounds that you have saved, or you could just do a Google image search, okay? So type in here, I typed in vertical wallpaper, okay, a vertical background, and then I've got a whole bunch of, um, you know, images. I did like this one at first, um, wallpaper here, and I change it. Look at that, that's, that's cool, huh? You got this aeroplane shooting straight in the middle. And the text is still illegible, you can still read it. It's in uh, white font, okay? So what I've done here on this slide is I've written my schedule. I just simply, I just went to insert and I inserted a, um, a table here, okay? Just insert a table. Uh, insert your table and put your timings in, okay? So I've obviously I've got my timings here that I've got my um, my schedule, my timetable, yeah? Now, I can't click on any of this, okay? None of this is um, editable. Why? Because I'll show you what I've done. On top of each page, each slide that you're gonna have, okay? Here I've got five different classes and an advisory class, so I've got 13 slides in total. So on each slide, I've got this overlay. Okay, let me move it and you can see. You see that overlay? I've got an overlay on top of each slide so no one can change or click the things, I don't want them to click on anything to edit it. So I've just got this overlay and I've put it on top, okay, of the slide. So that way no one can click on all the items on the form that I don't want them to click on, okay? Uh, how do you get this overlay? It's very simple. So go to shape, insert a new shape. Uh, by the way, you don't need to do any of this because you can download this, uh, um, App, okay this uh, presentation slide because I've got it in the description box below so uh, I really I don't want to do tutorial on all of the things uh, but I'll just show you the, some of the basics so here is my box okay and I basically placed it on top of everything after I was done okay and then I went to the shading and I went to transparent and I went to the border and I also went to transparent so I had this box on top and then therefore I can't click on anything okay so that's how I done that so let, and, and I've done that on each slide, so it's not editable. So let's get rid of that now. Let's move it to the side and delete. So how did it work when I went on the app, okay? And I basically, let me just show you something here. So when I went on the app, 
I could click on any one of these blocks, okay, and it would take me to that page. How did I do that? And then you click on the smiley face at the bottom, it will take me back to my class schedule. So then again, if I click the green one, it will take me to that particular class. How did I do that? Well, it's really simple. Once I've done the overlay, I've created the boxes in the same way, okay? Uh, I just went to shapes and insert, uh, created that same box, okay? And then I've obviously taken the shading off, I made it transparent and the border was transparent as well. And then I put it on top of each one of my scheduled classes and then I've done a hyperlink. Now, let me show you how to do that hyperlink, okay? So if, let's say, for example, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on, I don't know, a break rotor, yeah? I've got a break duty and I've got something like this. So now, once I've got that box, okay, this little box, you can go to insert and go to link. Now, if you wanna link it to one of the other slides, then you could go ahead, let's just remove that for now. And you could go ahead and, you know, link it to a slide in the presentation, okay? So let's go ahead and link it to one of these um, slides. Wherever you want it to go, it will go there and press apply. So now when this is live and they click on this box, it will take them to that slide. Now the same way, okay, uh, let me edit this link and then I could go ahead and add a link here. So I can actually link this to um, classroom.google.com, okay? And you actually search the web as well, look for a particular link. So let me just go here and zoom in and I'll show you okay, what I'm talking about. So here, I've got these uh, blocks, isn't it? They have these links, yeah? And here the Google one, the Google Classroom, just links straight to Google Classroom. So I'll show you that link. It says uh, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash classroom.google.com. That would take the students straight to uh, as long as they're signed in, it will take them straight to uh, log in to the Google Classroom. So let's just apply that link. Now, what about MassBase and the textbook? That's the same principle again. Look, if I show you the edit, it's just taken them to massbase.co forward slash account and then forward slash login. So it, let, it lets them log in to that account. Now, if I show you again on the phone, okay, if, for example, I went to um, this grade nine class and they went to MassBase, take them straight to the login page for MassSpace, okay? And that's really what, where I want them to go when I've set an assignment for MassSpace. The same applies for the textbook, okay? They can go ahead and go to the textbook in the same way, okay? So, uh, things like this, uh, a link to the syllabus just takes them to a link in my Google Drive, okay? So here, for example, I've got in my Google Drive, I've got um, the syllabus here that I want to link it to, yeah? So this is essentially, it's not, it looks like an application because when, when you send it out to the students, okay, and they, they access this, it pretty much looks like an application, yeah? The one thing that I would say is students should bookmark this. So how do they bookmark this? So go ahead to these three dots over here and then go ahead and say bookmark, add to home screen, okay? So go click on this, add to home screen. It's gonna ask you, hey, what do you wanna call it? Call it whatever you like. Um, I would go ahead and call it something meaningful for you, but don't make it too complicated. So, I'm just trying to cut out some things here. I, let's just call it that for now. And then add it to the home page. Now, if I come out of this, and you can see here now, on the home page is the bookmark for that. What's brilliant is you can do the same on your computer, you can do the same on your iPhone. You can go ahead and click that and that will open up the slide and from here you can go ahead and do what you need to do. So for example, I wanna see my schedule for today. That's my schedule, okay? I can go back home. Uh, if I press on the little smiley face, that will take me to this and I can see, hey, when do I have my class? When do I have math? Uh, the students can do the same. Hey, when do I have my class? Oh, here it is. Click on that one and go ahead and go to the frequently used apps. So anyway, in a nutshell, that's that's it really. I would go in a lot more detail if you know this was a demonstration on how to create this from scratch. However, I am going to link this presentation in the description box below, so you can go ahead and download it, make a copy of it in your own drive, and then edit it to your own apps. Now, let's say you do want to edit it, yeah? You clearly might not want this logo with this title here, yeah? So what do you need to do? Remember, each slide has this layer on top of it, okay? Here we go. You're gonna have to move that layer out of the way. Okay, so I've moved that big layer. There's another layer, there's like a button on each clickable item has this layer that I've created. Again, the same way I created, I went to shapes and I went with this um, rounded, rounded uh, corners, okay, this shape here. 
it just looks like that and then I made it transparent. So I placed that on each button, okay, the button is just a picture and then basically I made it uh, a link to somewhere, okay, so uh, command or control K and then link it to wherever you want to link it. Now, uh, let me delete that for now and let me just show you then how you can sort of change the image. So if you move this layer out of the way, okay, you move the layer out of the way, you have access to this image. Now you can delete this image and bring in your own image. So for example, let's go to insert image. Uh, let's just search the web. Maybe you want this to, I don't know, be books or something. Yeah, it's a link to your library books or uh, something that you want the kids to read. So you can go ahead and insert this. I would go ahead and say transparent. So transparent, anything will do to be honest. Let's just grab this for now. Okay, and insert this, here we go. So we've got this massive transparent book now. We can resize this. So now look, now I've got that book picture, okay? I can go ahead and grab this layer. Now you've got to be careful because you can't see these layers because they're transparent. So I can grab that layer, put it on top of here, and then link it to wherever you want. So it could go to Scholastics or Edulastic or wherever you want it to go, you can link it to there, okay? And especially if there's a login page. So for example, earlier on I showed you the mass space, yeah? If I type in here mass space, yeah? This will go to the mass space landing page, okay? Um, but what you wanna do is just a little extra step, go ahead and click on the join uh, login page, okay? So when you click on the login page, this brings you to the login page. And if students have saved like their password, remember me and save their password, this will immediately just log them straight in, okay? So take that extra little step to uh, click on the login page, okay? So here, if I'm gonna link uh, to, you know, Edulastic or whatever, make sure you go to like the login page uh, so that it's, you know, it goes directly there. Now, for the titles, the titles are separate um, text box, okay? You can go ahead and you can change this. You can write whatever you want to write here, okay? You can change it out. So, that's that sorted. Don't forget, don't forget that that layer, okay? So let me just go to view and let's go to uh, fit again. Remember this layer here, it's invisible right now, but this layer, you need to place it on top. Even if I put this back on top, the issue is because I've added this book later, it's it's on top of all of the other layers. So what you can do is go to arrange, order, and center back, okay? Now it's in the background, it's no longer on the top, okay? So you can't click that book by accident. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly show you a demonstration on the Google, how the Google Meet works. The link is quite specific to this particular class. So this class, if I scroll up, is mathematics grade nine, and then it's block A, okay? So block A1. If you look at these links, okay, I'm gonna be quite transparent here. I'm gonna show you these links here, okay? These classroom links in your domain, if you're a G Suite for Education school and you're using Google Meet, in your domain, okay, so for example, at uh, Bear Squared Academy, uh, you know, dot com or dot org or whatever, yeah, in your domain, this is the same for every, everyone, okay? All your teachers, everyone in your domain will have this the same. Now, this is basically Google just generates, for this part here, Google just generates, let me see if I can just highlight that for you. Can I just make it bold or something? Yeah, you, this part here, Google just generates a random 10 digit or alphanumeric code here um, to start your meetings. Now what you can do is, you can assign your own nickname, yeah? When you go to Google Meet, you can log in with a nickname, can't you? So this is just assigning, pre-assigning a nickname for all your classes. So for grade nine, A1, I've just assigned myself A Hussein, grade nine, A1. That's that class, that's the, the nickname for that class. So here, you can see here, my nickname, okay? But you have, to be, you have to remember to share this out with your students and you have to uh, go and use these links to join those uh, web sessions as well, okay? So what I've done is I've created this little nickname and then what I can do is I can copy this, okay? Control copy, I copy that. And then when I go to my presentation here, this, you know, app or whatever, um, if I go down to grade nine, block C, and I click on this link, you can see that if I edit this link, you can see here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, to be honest, yeah? Let me just zoom in even more. Okay, here we go. So, it's still tiny. Look at that, I've zoomed in, but the link is still tiny. So, here we go, look. It says here, A Hussein, uh, G9 for grade 9, and then C1. That's a block C1, yeah? And, you know, I've applied that link there. So, when students were, were to click onto this link on the app, 
okay? When they click on that link on the app, what happens is it takes them straight to the Google Meet, but using that nickname. So it's gonna put them in the same meeting that I'm in, okay? So right over here, this is class B2, okay? And if I click this link here, this is gonna put me in a meeting. What I'll show you, watch. Let's uh, sign in here, okay? Uh, sign in again. And I'll just show you one second. Look at this. If you look on the top now, if you look on the top, it says, A, you seen uh, grade nine, B1. It's joining them into that class, into the B1 class, okay? I don't know whether you can see that or not. Hello. Okay, so, and then they can all, always just go back, press the back button, and that will take them back to the app. It's not even an app, it's just a Google slide. Okay, now, okay, so that's brilliant. That's all done. For the most part, you can creatively, um, you know, edit this, choose whatever background or the image logos that you want, okay? Let me show you how to share this out with your students. Now, as you share it out, it comes up like this, yeah? And it looks brilliant. It just, let me put it there. It takes me straight to this, and then I can click on it and go where I need to go, yeah? That will link straight to uh, my Google Drive, where I've created a file where students can see what they've been getting up to. How does this work here? Right, okay, let me show you, okay? So what to do now, now that you're happy with this, it's done, okay, and you're good to go, click on file and click on publish to web, okay? Publish to web, so go ahead and say publish to web. So we're gonna start, go ahead and publish, okay? And look here, it says here, require viewers to sign in with their institution account. Now, look, don't do that because sometimes parents might wanna sign in, okay, uh, and they might not, have logged in to the institution account, okay? So it does allow parents to log in as well, yeah? Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and publish this. Uh, it says, do you wanna publish this? Yeah, we wanna go and publish it. And then it's gonna give you this link. So go ahead and copy that link, Control C, copy that link, okay? Put it in a, uh, in a web page. And right at the end, right at the end, go ahead and type in and, and RM, RM equals minimal, okay? Why you wanna do that, RM equals minimal? Because it takes away, it, it takes away all of the um, navigation arrows, the back and forward navigation arrows, and that's good because that prevents the students from having extra, you know, user interface uh, elements that are just going to get in the way. Okay, so that's why what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do the the and rm equals minimal. Here we go. That's what you want to type in at the end of your link. Okay, and once you've done that, and you run it on a website. Students can go ahead and click on things and it will take them to, you know, um, their app and then they could go ahead and click on the table. It will show them, uh, you know, their schedule with you. Go back home. If they click on the little smiley face, it'll go back to this. Uh, and that's about it. Do definitely try to use it. Okay. Share it with your colleagues uh, and see if it's uh, useful for them. I think it's gonna be amazing once we kick off. Again, you can find the link uh, in the description below. Uh, make sure you copy it to your own drive and then you can edit it. The link is just a viewable link. You can go and edit it uh, on your own drive, okay? Uh, I hope that helps. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you share it out with your colleagues. Uh, and if you're interested in simplifying educational tech videos, okay, especially in this uh, time of online teaching and learning, then make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. As always, I'll see you in the next one.